hello everybody and welcome to my next game development video so uh, not much has changed uh, since the video I posted the other day uh, but I made a few changes and I'm going to run this program just to show you uh, the changes I made okay so as you can see the map is now in the middle now I set it like that uh, so that if the map is indeed smaller than the screen size then it will centerize the map okay uh, so as you can see the map is centerized and I've incorporated collision so uh, uh, you can't go in there when you hit the house you can't uh, you can go behind the house and so on and so forth now as for the movement uh, before it was just free for movement and uh, now I've changed it to a uh, tile based uh, movement and it really wasn't that hard to implement I kind of had um, I was trying to implement it in a more complex way but there's an easy way in how to do it and if you guys want to learn how to do tile based movement when I create my RPG series then by all means I'll do that but each time you move it's guaranteed to move 32 pixels uh, eventually right uh, now I've also added an, an event system right and I don't like the way I've implemented it so I'm going to reformat the event system uh, but for now uh, it works for transferring so I set it so that uh, when we're here and we touch the uh, when we click a action button with which is either enter or Z then it will transfer to a new map so when I press this it fades out and it transfers to a new map and so uh, you get this and then you can transfer back to the original map so uh, that's all I really got for this game development update uh, and I will show you kind of like the code the underlying code and stuff in the next uh, in the next update so I hope you enjoyed this update uh, I hope you learned something well maybe not learn something but I hope you really like it and I will continue to work on it slowly but surely so that's it for this uh, game development video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye